Hello, YouTube. This is DJ Brown Magic and Lonnie65, somewhere in the background. And today we're, re we're reviewing the Samson Solstice 1 and the Samson Solstice 2. Um, now, Samson Solstice 2 is my phone. My sister has a Samson Solstice 1. And today we're going to be comparing both these phones. Now, let's start with physical features. On the Samsung Solstice 1, we have a 3-inch touchscreen. We have 65,500 colors on here. And it has a 240 by 400 resolution. We have the call, back, and end keys. Mic on the bottom. Speakerphone on the top. We have the camera and shutter key, task manager key, and proprietary headphone jack slash charging cable slot. We have the lock button to lock and unlock the screen. And the volume rocker down and up. Another mic. On the back we have a 2 megapixel camera. It has a little silver circle over here which is a mirror. And if you take a picture of yourself, and you're holding the phone like this, and where you can't see the screen, you have that little mirror to tell you what exactly you're taking a picture of. Pretty cool stuff. On to the Samsung Solstice 2. We have a 3-inch touchscreen. Uh, the call, back, and end keys. And a speaker up here. On this side, we have the dedicated camera and shutter key, same as the Solstice 1. Task Manager, same as the Solstice one. And a lock and unlock little slider thing. If you press it down, it unlocks. Press it down again, it locks. You don't have to use that. You can just use the on-screen button, which you touch and hold, which is a lot easier to me. Uh, we have the micro USB cable slot right here. It takes your uh, data cable, and it also takes a charging cable, which are both the same things. Uh, and we have the volume up and a volume down rocker. On the bottom we have a mic, and on the back, just a normal 2 megapixel camera. Again, both of the phones have a 2 megapixel camera. No flash, and they do have zoom. And now, let's go into the phones. The Solstice 1. Now, the Solstice 1 features a 3-inch resistive touchscreen, so you can use a stylus or the nail of your finger. Um, it also features the Samsung TouchWiz interface which has the widget bar on the side, left hand side and you can take those widgets and you can take them out and put it on there home screen and you can put them back into the widgets bar now it only has one home screen so you have to fit all your widgets on that one home screen it also has a toolbar up top to tell you your signal, your 3G your internet connection, if your bluetooth's on micro SD, volume of your phone, battery, and the time. Um, the widgets we have are just common stuff. Stuff like uh, the time, favorite callers, nav at t navigation. We have voice command, which can only be used to call people and go to applications. It cannot be used to type messages or set alarms and stuff. We have the calendar, at t shop, web apps, uh, Yahoo, MySpace, Favorites, Calculator, Birthday, Alarm, Video. Um, at the bottom we have the three touch screen buttons, on screen buttons. Dial, Contacts, and Menu. Uh, the dial is just a normal dial. Nothing too fancy. Uh, you can call, send a message. The Contacts, it can hold 2,000 contacts. Um, you also have this side scroller, which can uh, scroll by letter instead of if you want to go down all the way to another letter. And the menu is one menu screen. And we have the same stuff that you had as widgets, the App Center, Web, My Stuff, Tools, Video, Games, Messaging. Um, now let's go into the tools. Let's see what kind of tools we have over here. Of course we have the camera. We do have voice recognition. Uh, alarms, calendar, recent calls, calculator, converter, stopwatch, 
stuff like that. Um, let's go into messaging. That's probably what you guys are interested in. Uh, it does not have conversations. It does not have threaded text messaging. It has an inbox folder and an outbox folder. Sorry, a sent folder. So you have to go back and forth with that. Uh, we do have mobile email, IM. Uh, let's look at the keyboard. Now we have two ways, actually three ways to type. First way is the T9 keyboard, which some of you guys may be familiar with. Um, the other way is handwriting, where you can draw a letter and it'll come up on the screen. And the last way, which is probably the most common way you guys are going to use, is the landscape mode keyboard, which is powered by the accelerator inside here, and is relatively easy to type on. Okay. Now, uh, you guys probably want to see the camera, so here we go. It's a dedicated camera key on the side, launches the camera app, and now the camera isn't super amazing, but it does take very good stills, so it will take a little bit of time to focus, but it does take very good pictures. The uh, video camera on here, video quality, is also pretty good. Change that by clicking this camera button. You can go to camcorder. It also does have video share. I didn't mention that before. The camcorder is pretty good, actually. So here's a video I just took. The video quality is the same as the quality that I just took the picture with, which is very good. And it does have a music player. Um, I think that about sums it up for the Samsung Solstice 1. Uh, also under settings we have updates, information, time and date, display, light. You can change your backgrounds on your home screen. And another cool feature is that when you lock it, there's a different picture every time. Solstice 2. Here we go. Now, the, Sam the Samsung Solstice 2 features a 3 inch capacitive touch screen, which means it's based solely on touch, so you can just lightly slide your finger on there and it works. Uh, this features um, Samsung's Touch Wiz interface, which is the same as on the Samsung Solstice 1. has your widget bar over here, and you can take widgets drag them out, put them on the home screen, and there you go. You can also take those widgets, put them back in the widget bar, and close the widget bar. Um, the difference, some of the main differences is that it has three main screens. One, two, three. Um, that gives you a little bit more space to fill up your main um, home screens. Uh, some of the stuff we have in the widget bar, uh, it's pretty much the same. We have time, uh, favorites, pictures, messaging, calculator, uh, we have MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, videos, music player. You can also customize that stuff uh, to whatever you want. Um, at the bottom, we have those same buttons, touch on-screen buttons, dial, contacts, and menu. Under the dial, it's just a basic dial, but it's a little upgraded look from the Solstice 1. Um, under contacts, we have the same contacts, and we have a scrolling kind of letter thing right here. And under the menu, another difference is that we have one, two, three menu screens. Um, some of the apps we have on here are again AT&T Navigator, Yellow Pages, Social Net, Instant Messaging, Web, Music, App Center. Uh, and you can also add, you can also add stuff just by clicking this button. You can add apps from a number of apps over here, so I wanted to add camera. Camera just went over there. I'm going to take it off. It's gone. Um, 
let's go into the tools and see what kind of tools we have. Again, we have the same tools. Camera, music player, voice recognition. Again, voice recognition can only be used to make calls. Uh, call people, send a message to someone, but you can't actually type the message with that person. Uh, calendar, alarms, memo, task, calculator, tip calculator, world clocks, timer, stopwatch. Uh, under the settings... Same stuff, sound profile, phone call, application settings, software management, quick tips. Uh, you guys probably want to see the uh, messaging app now. So you do have conversations in here, which is um, threaded text messaging. So that's a big upgrade. You do also have the inbox and the app box, so you can do that. And now let's create a message see what we got over here. Now the only options you have, you only have two options on the Solstice 2, which is the T9. So you can type on here with that. You have arrow keys, ABC, blah, blah, blah. And you have the landscape mode, which uses the accelerometer. And you can type with that. Now I'm obviously much better typing on this phone because this is my phone at the moment. So, I can type faster and better. But yeah. So, now to the camera. There is a dedicated camera key. Click that. It launches a camera app. And again, this is not a super high grade camera. It is a 2 megapixel camera, which is the same as the Solstice one. So, both of these take the exact same picture, so I'm not going to go through that again. If you want to see the camera quality, uh, look at the Solstice one. Uh, review real quick which is in this video just a little earlier uh, it also does take videos camcorder you can take videos with that and you have multiple resolutions um, well that about sums it up for the Solstice 2 you do you can change your home screen and whatever your home screen is it changes to your lock screen Thanks for watching guys, that was the dogfight of the Samsung Solstice 1 and the Samsung Solstice 2. And the video was brought to you by DJ Brown Magic and Lonnie Loves Purple. Later YouTube.